the concrete method for division and the calculation that we've chosen to look at is 570 divided by 4. So we've got a hundreds, tens, a ones column, we've also got a tenths column um, with a decimal point and we've partitioned 570 into that column. So we're looking for groups of four in each column. Starting with the hundreds, we've got one group of four, I'll write that in, and then we've got a hundred um, left over. So we're going to regroup that into ten tens. Now how many groups of four have we got in there now? One, two, three, four whole groups of four, but there's one ten left over. So we're regrouping that again now into the ones column, into ten ones. Now looking for the groups of four, we'll have two with a remainder of two. Now we're going to use tenths place value counters now. Each one of those counters is, represents one tenth. And if we group our two ones into tenths, we've got 20 tenths. And that makes five groups of four. So we've got 142.5. Here we have the pictorial and abstract representation of um, bus stop division. So we're going to um, divide 570 by 4. In the hundreds column, we've got one group 4, and then there's 100 left over, which we need to regroup into 10 tens. <clears throat> now looking at the tens column, we have one, two, three, four groups of four, and one ten left over, which we're going to regroup into the ones column. Four goes into ten twice. We've got the two ones left over, which we regroup <coughs> into ten tenths each. So there's going to be twenty tenths in the tenths column. So four groups. Hundred and forty two point five. Let's look at that on the abstract. Fours into five go once. Regroup one hundred into the tens column. Fours into seventeen go four times. Regroup one into the tens. Fours into ten go twice. Regroup two two ones. So there's 20 tenths in there, 4's into 20, go 5 times, 142.5.